Not only the top lightweights in the world. Yeah. Vicente, what do you have next? Uh, you have a fight coming up? Yeah, I got a fight July 9th in Denver, Colorado against uh, Raimundo Beltran. Uh, you know, he's a, check him out, really good fighter. You know, he's a record of 24 wins with four losses and 14 KOs. So the guy's, uh, you know, well, good fighter. So I'm just, I uh, got that next. And, and I know that uh, Golden Boy wants to match you with a, with a title fight or, or somebody at the top three. And uh, what are your thoughts on that? And who are some of the guys I mentioned? You know, we haven't, they haven't mentioned anybody. Um, I'm moving down to 130, so uh, we got uh, Beltran in front of us, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. the plan is to get us a couple fights and fight at the 130 weight class and fight for a title. Um, don't know who right now, right now. Don't think focus is just taking taking it, uh, you know, fight by fight with um, my next opponent, which is Beltran, and I got to beat him in order to, uh, to move to the next one. And why go down to 130? You know, I've been, I've been weighing 132 when I fought. Uh, Casillas was weighing 132, actually, oh, ate breakfast before the weigh-ins, you know. Um, so I felt, you know, a, a couple more pounds to make 130 would be a, a benefit to me. You know, I had the height, the reach, and the speed, and, you know, I think I'd be much, much more explosive and more powerful at 130. Oh, okay, because you've been lightweight for a while, and I have you're been, doing you know? very good. Too. Yeah, I thought, I, thought I've, um, I did well, you know, at 135, you know. I mean, five pounds do make a difference, you know, and they're much stronger, but I felt, you know what, let's move to 130. It's something we've been talking about for a while now, um, my team and uh, even before the Casides fight. Um, so let's, let's, just cap, let's just fight for a title 130, defend it, and you know, when, when, when it's necessary, we'll move to 135 and, and try, to, try to take over that weight class. You, you know, in your, in your fight against uh, Casides, uh, that was a very close fight. It went the distance and uh, it, was, it was very, very close. And then Casides went to England and then he blew out their top lightweight. How, yeah. how, what did you think about that when you saw that? You know, it just you know, just by going 12 rounds with Casides, Casides is a tough, tough fighter. You know, uh, I knew that going into the fight, and to me, going to the decision, it made me feel that you know, I want the top fighters up there too. If I can, you know, go 12 rounds with Casides, um, with him not hurting me or knocking me out, I felt to me it was just a, a, a good accomplishment. You know, and, and it gave me confidence, and I'm actually, it feels, you know, me losing that fight was actually good. You know, for me, I think. Uh, I learned a lot, got to learn a lot of my mistakes, and I think now they'll see a different percent of him. Um, you know, he was well prepared for that fight. I was too, it just, he was a better, stronger man than that. Um, experience took me um, Yeah, experience does count, so, but you have the experience now. You've been there in Vegas, and you've been there fighting for a title, and, and uh, I guess it means something. Definitely, you know, now I feel that I'm at that point in my career where, hey, I'm ready to top, fight the top fighters now, but I gotta work my way up back to that, you know, that, that fight, that HBO, you know, and that HBO C, I mean, you know, ever since it's still here, and you know, and what to take over the 130 class. So the, your next fight is going to be in Colorado. In Denver, Colorado. Oh, because okay. so you're actually fighting. He's not from Colorado. Is he? No, you know what? He trains out of uh, Wild Card. He's he trains out of Wild Card with Freddie. Uh, he's stressing out. Uh, so okay. looking for a good, good tough fight. Mm -hmm. Colorado, you know, we gotta, we gotta look at him. You know, all of them are tough, and it's another guy really, uh, trying to stop me from my tracks. How, how do you feel now? You've been here for a while in, uh, in the desert. What, what's, it, what's it like now? You know, I like it here. It's like a, you know, it's a very comfortable here with Red. Uh, things are good here. I've been here since May. You know? I've been here for a while. Uh, the fight with Eric Morales fell through, so we've been here for a while. I'm just ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Uh, you know, I've been, been here for a while, so I'm just anxious to get back in the ring. You mentioned Eric Morales. What happened to that? What did they say? You know, I, I heard he, uh, I heard he hurt his hand. I heard he hurt his hand, so uh, he had medical attention to it. He, from what I know, they said that he didn't want to. He wanted to rest the hand, and uh, you know, maybe in the future, five years from now, I have no idea. So uh, it's kind of uh, kind of disappointing. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, you know, because that's a to me to fight Eric Morales would be an honor. You know, to win to me over Eric Morales is like a legend, like, huge. You know, but, um, well, you know, things happen like that in sport of boxing, and you just gotta move on. All right, then you said, hey, what?